Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing light blue today, this is not like me. Um, but the reason behind that is because I'm about to speak on a panel at a YouTube event, and this is my first YouTube panel ever via Zoom, or it's not via Zoom, but it's online. Obviously I've spoken on lots of panels at events, at VidCon, at Summer in the City, plus other events, but I've never done a virtual one. And this is called Creator 360, and it's a YouTube-led online convention, basically, with thousands of people attending. And uh, I need to be there in 10 minutes, but my talk doesn't start for another 40 minutes. But Leah and I are doing it together. There's some other creators. The topic of it is live streams, and how you get started with live streams, how you earn money from live streams, and so there'll be lots of other creators there learning, looking to learn about that. Let me show you what sort of other sessions they've got going on. At the moment, there's one, and it's how to expand your lifestyle channel. Could also reach out to other, it's, um... This is how to expand your lifestyle channel from top creators. I know Lewis, I've heard of Lena Norms, don't know who these other people are, but it's really interesting. But yeah, I haven't really been nervous because obviously talking about YouTube is very easy for me and it's, I don't ever need to prepare when I get asked questions about YouTube because I just know it backwards and I know my own experience. So I'm not really that nervous, but maybe I should be nervous. But anyway, I'm nervous that my internet connection is not gonna hold up, but we'll see. Hi, we're John and Leah. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. 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 Hey guys, it is Sunday and I'm off to Oxford and the Cotswolds to meet Leah. So I've just arrived, oh my mask is falling now. I've just arrived at Paddington Station. My train is in half an hour, so I've actually got plenty of time. So I'm thinking of going and getting some food because I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so hot, the next couple of days especially. It's going to be so hot, 28 degrees. So I'm really grateful that we're going to be staying in hotels for the next two nights because hopefully there's going to be aircon, but we never know. So anyway, let's go get some food. There we go. Guys, I'm finding it really hard to vlog in public again, so I need to get used to it because I was so good at it and now I'm not as good. Right, should we get some fruit? Might get some pineapple. Ooh, I love bircher. We got one of them as well. <sighs> Go. I'm in Coach B, seat nine. For goodness sake. Here we go, let's go find it. So it turns out I don't think the coaches are actually labelled, so I'm just sitting anywhere. It's a very quiet train. Get my snacks out. Got some chicken bites as well. <sighs> so I can have my mask off while I'm eating. I've also worn an active wear top because I'm going to get very sweaty on this journey. I've just had to walk to the bus station, get a bus, walk to the train station, get the train now on this train. So I was like, I'll put an active wear gym top on and then when I get there, I'll put on a different t-shirt. Gotta think about these things. There we go, hand oh. I've arrived. I don't know where I'm going or where I'm meeting Leah. Leah's running about five minutes late, so she should be here. We were due to arrive. My train was due to arrive at this time, 11.52, and Leah was due to arrive at 11.51, so it was gonna be perfect, but she got stuck in traffic. And also, if you're wondering why I didn't drive, it's because Leah was already driving, so whilst we're here, it's better just to have one car than two. And also, it takes me, on the train, it was just an hour here, just over an hour, whereas to drive, it took about two hours and two and a half, so. And Leah's not coming from London, Leah's coming from the Midlands where she lives now, so. Yeah, it's gonna work out quite well. I don't know where she is. And I don't know if I've been in the car with Leah before. Not for like a long journey anyway, so hopefully she won't kill us. Okay, so she's still quite a while away. Apparently this isn't, she said this is, would be, well actually she said she'd be here at 11.58. So I reckon it's gonna be at least another 10 or 15 minutes. It's very, very peaceful here, look at this. It's so quiet. Oh my gosh, I should be saving this memory card for the Those Two Brits videos, but whilst I'm here, I get bored, so I want to talk to you guys. Watch this, there's a bus about to come past. Oh wow, look at that. How cool. Here's their notice board, Cotswold Line Promotion Group. They've got a film evening at the Village Hall. That's very cute. If you love trains, this is the place for you. 
Anyway, I doubt I'm going to be filming much more of this trip because my brain needs to be fully in those two Brits mode. There's no Joel and Leah, there's no Joel Wood, it's just those two Brits. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to those two Brits, go and subscribe. Basically, the long story short, if you don't know what it is, in January 2020 we started another channel called Those Two Brits, which is all about UK tourism. We started off with a series in Cambridge, then lockdown happened. The pandemic happened and we're like, great, we're the idiots that launched a travel vlogging channel in a pandemic, or just before a pandemic. So when, the, when it eased last summer in 2020, we went to Brighton and did our second series there. And then we went into lockdown again. So this is our first trip back. So excited, we're starting with Oxford and the Cotswolds. It's probably gonna be a monthly thing going around the UK, so leave comments down below and on those two Brits channel about where you want us to go next in the UK, and we'll do it. Fantastic. She's arrived. We have spent all day filming at Blenheim Palace. Now we've arrived at our hotel. We've actually been here for a while. We've had a lay down. We've sorted out the live streams in a bit. And then we've had dinner on our balcony. The best part about this hotel, which to be honest, not a great hotel. The best part is we have this lovely balcony overlooking the golf course. So we've just been sat here, we've had Lebanese food because the hotel restaurant is over there but we didn't fancy the food there. So yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a lie down because we're feeling exhausted. And um, and then we've got a live stream in a bit. So um, I'm in my underwear, oh, so goodness. I know. Do you mind? Yes. I'm gonna, okay, I'll put That's my okay. on. I don't mind, darling, okay. naked. Yeah, it's true, we do as well. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Leah's just taking a shower and I was still in bed. I think I woke up before Leah and I was on my phone and then Leah woke up and she got straight in the shower. So I was like, I should probably open the curtains and get ready for the day. We need to head off to our next location. We're actually going to one of our favorite places next uh, for breakfast, gym, breakfast, maybe a bit of a swim. Uh, to start the day at Soho Farmhouse, one of our favorite places ever. I think I've only actually been there once before with Leah. Yeah, you know, it was really, really great. And so we're going there again this morning because we can't check into our next hotel until like in the afternoon. So we'll go there and then we will start filming. We'll start filming in Oxford. We've got quite a few videos to do in Oxford. So yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but we're gonna start nice and slow. <laughs> This is the view this morning. I mean, it hasn't changed from last night. Good morning, everyone. It's a random Thursday. I mean, I haven't picked up the camera vlogs for a few days now, but just thought I'd have a chat with you guys. I've missed it. So I guess the last clip you would have seen was me going to or being in Oxford slash the Cotswolds with Leah. Got back uh, on Tuesday evening, had yesterday here, and today I'm going to Hampshire to spend a long weekend with my family. So I'm going Thursday to Sunday. So I literally can't wait for that. That'll be so fun. I haven't stayed at home for like that long, for a, for a long time. Ava, you've got bloody paws, let me wipe you. So the last few days, just like you saw in the Cotswolds, it was blue skies, it was boiling hot, too hot if anything. And it's been like that until yesterday, and then today, for the next 10 days, it's gonna be cloudy and rainy. It's still gonna be a little hot, like it's still a decent temperature, but it's nowhere near as hot as it was, so really happy about that. There's a few little additions to the house that I haven't shown you, so I thought I might just show them to you now. And by little, I mean very little. <gasps> oh no, we spent all night with our our window open out the front. I opened our window last night and uh, forgot to shut it. Downstairs, as many of you guys will know, everything here kind of is temporary. The curtains are temporary. Most of you absolutely hate these curtains. I get it, they're not staying. I actually quite like them. I don't think I like them for the living room. <laughs> That's why they're not staying. We're going with some uh, plain neutral curtains, big thick ones. But anyway, the only things really that are permanent down here is potentially that sofa, but even then maybe not. And that is basically it. Let me give you a little tour. So we managed to get rid of, we had two sofas like this. We couldn't sell it. <laughs> so in the end, we'd got rid of it for free. Someone came and picked it up. This Vaha box, I've been working with Vaha, the fitness mirror, absolutely incredible, love it. However, I have nowhere to store it and the brand will be picking it up. So just waiting for them to pick that up. The new things we got, 
were our lampshades. We were like, you know what? Why are we just sitting with bare bulbs? We might as well just buy some lampshades. So these ones are sort of an ivory shade on the outside and on the inside they're lined with like gold foiling. Not real gold, obviously, um, but we've got matching ones for the living room and the dining room. And the other thing we got, we got rid of the old owner's cushions, which were disgusting, and we got these ones, which are really lovely. They're sort of ruffly. These were from B&Q. They're about £16 each, so they've just made it look a bit nicer. The dining table. We have ordered a new dining table, and that should be arriving, hopefully, well, it should, be to, it should have arrived yesterday, and it hasn't, so don't know when that will be arriving, but... That one has already had loads of interest on Facebook Marketplace. I've had about 25 people want to buy it, so that's good. So the new table, I'll show you what it looks like when it arrives. We're also waiting to start redecorating down here. So this is all covered in horrible wood chip wallpaper and it will need replastering. So we've gotten a quote for that. It's just about deciding when to start because obviously as soon as we start doing that down here, we won't have a living room or dining room. Like it's gonna be a mess for a good few days. So. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting to think maybe we'll do that at the end of summer or something like that. Another job we've got to do is get our door stripped. Uh, but it's been covered in years and years worth of paint and we want to repaint the inside and outside. So what we're going to do is pay to get the door taken away, dipped and stripped. They dip it in, I don't know, acid or something and it strips the wood of all the paint and then we can repaint it. So that's another thing. We need to get an electrician round to sort out all these wires. So I absolutely hate wires. Most of this, I don't know what it does. There's like wires that go along. This is the aerial, which we also want to get rid of and put it on the roof. But, well, not that on the roof, obviously. But <laughs> but there's like wires everywhere. So we need an electrician to come and sort that out before we start redecorating and plastering. So there's just lots to do. Um, also, the kitchen is still a mess with all of our decorating stuff. We ordered a shed about three or four weeks ago and they told us it would take nine weeks. So I'm pretty sure we've still got over a month to wait until our shed arrives. Once that arrives, the kitchen can be tidy and that will feel amazing. But um, that is the update on the house, on what's happening. We've also had a quote to turn this into lovely spindles, but we're obviously not going to do that until we've finished decorating downstairs. So there's a lot of things to do that it's it's like, oh, we can't start that because we need to do that. Oh, we can't do that because we need to do that. So it's a lot of waiting. I'm just getting ready and I thought I'd show you the t-shirt I bought when I was in Oxford. So this is the outfit of the day, guys. It, even though it's raining, it's still warm outside. So going for some shorts, jean shorts. And then I've got this top from Tommy Jeans. Clearly at the moment I'm going through a Tommy Jeans phase because <laughs> you guys will know if you watch my vlogs that I bought a Tommy Jeans jumper the other day. But anyway, this is like a, you can't really see it on camera. It looks kind of gray, but it's a black, but washed black. So it's a bit like acid wash type. And then on the back, it's got big bright colors, which is quite nice. If those colors were on the front, I'd be like, nah. But because they're on the back, I'm like, yeah. Hey everyone, so I'm at my parents' house. I've been here, I arrived here yesterday at 11 a.m., which was really nice. It's now Friday, it's Friday night. We've been out for dinner at a local new restaurant that's just opened where my parents live. And it was very nice, I'm very full now though. But I am thinking of baking something this evening because even though I'm full, like obviously sugar doesn't count, dessert doesn't count, I still want dessert. But also because the football's on, it's like the Euro something and I hate football, but my parents are watching it, my brother's watching it. So I'm like, Ugh, I need something to entertain myself. But I'm also now just gonna film an Instagram reel slash TikTok because I've been doing lots of those and everyone has been loving them, which is amazing. To be honest, I felt a little bit self-conscious putting them out there and making my weird sense of humor known to everyone because I think before, like everything on Instagram has just been like photos of my face and like not very much personality and I've just been afraid to put it out there and then in the last month or so I've been like no you know what let's just make funny videos and put them on Instagram and on TikTok and it's going really really well so anyway one of them that's gone down really well is a sibling based sketch so I'm thinking of another idea which involves a teaspoon and it involves tasting something and the differences between how children taste things based on my own personal experience because I'm one of three. So um, I'm just making these experiences into reels. So let's do it. This is my filming setup, by the way. My phone on top of a kettle leaning against a mug. <laughs> right, I'm all done filming and I put my pajamas on and just by some weird coincidence, I'm wearing this. Youngest child, the rules don't apply to me. I bought these as a Christmas present for me and my brothers. I saw a really cool seller on Etsy 
did um, an oldest child one which says I make the rules and a middle child one which says I'm the reason we have the rules and then the youngest child which says the rules don't apply to me which I thought was very funny so me and my brothers all have these let's go the only substitution I'm gonna make is instead of milk chocolate chips I'll just go for white chocolate chips look how well stocked my mom's cupboard is in chocolate chips got so many here nuts everything but anyway I thought we'll go for white chocolate chips I was just looking for cups because we don't really do cups in the UK but it turns out my parents do have a set of cups so um, I'm gonna actually do it the American way. Okay, I'm fairly certain this is gonna overwhelm my mug. It's that full, that is very full. Let's give it a go. I'm just watching it in the microwave and it's spilling over the sides and it's still got 30 seconds left. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, so it is actually cooked in the middle but what I've done is I've split it between us. I'll give my dad the big bit and I'll have this bit. Um, Save me a few calories. But oh my gosh, it does taste really good. There we go, I've given him some ice cream. Here you go. Oh my goodness. What have I've we got? dished it out because it was so big that I've split it between me and you because the cup was overflowing. So you'll have to try it. My cup overflows. Not you, Crumpet. It looks good. What is it? Just chocolate mug cake with white chocolate chips and ice cream. Delicious. I'm glad you like it. Mm. I'll have mine now. Well, that was a success. That was brilliant. We all absolutely loved it. Let me tell you where it's from. It's called Microwave Chocolate Mug Cake from allrecipes.com. It was very good, I highly recommend. I actually added the white chocolate chips. They weren't even in the recipe, but they made it really nice. Do you wee wee's? You're loving being here, aren't you? You love it. And Crumpet's here at the moment as well, and Oscar. Hello, Crumpet. Good boy. <laughs> They're literally best friends, they love each other so much. Right, just bringing up my costumes from the Instagram reel I filmed. I also thought I'd show you something I bought when I was in Oxford with Leah for our Those Two Brits channel, and you'll see it in the videos, but basically, we went to an antique shop and they had some antique books and not only did they have antique books but they had antique Beatrix Potter books and if any of you have watched my video about my antique book collection then firstly you won't be surprised that I collect antique books <laughs> and secondly you will know, you will have seen my first edition Beatrix Potter children's books. Anyway, they had quite a few different ones and they were in bundles so they were tied up with string which was annoying because then I couldn't see inside and I kind of knew that these probably wouldn't be first edition but they're just so cute. Look at them. I love them so much. They're actually in really good condition and um, sadly they're not first edition and I can tell because I'm a little nerd and I know that all the first edition of these books have a blank page at the start. Um, and these ones don't, but they're in really, really good condition, and it was only £8 for two of them. Um, the other ones there, they had in bundles of two and three. Um, some of them weren't in very good condition. They had really bad spines. Um, I don't think they were first edition either, but it was annoying that they were tied up. Leah was like, why don't you just ask her to, like, let you look inside? But I was like, no, there's too much pressure to, like, buy them. <laughs> so um, anyway, I will be adding these to my collection. I'll just give you a little flick through. So this one is The Tailor of Gloucester, which I absolutely love this. Me and my mum watch this at Christmas all the time. Absolutely love it. And The Tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher. So inside, they are, they are in such good condition. I want to find out when these were printed. I don't think these ones are that old. Um, yeah, it doesn't say a year, sadly, but there would be a blank page just here if it was a first edition, which this is not, but I love it. But anyway, lots of you have been asking about what I'm going to do with my collection, and at the moment, I'm just keeping it here at my parents' house, with, and that's why I brought these two home to add to it, because they're kept somewhere very safe, away from any sunlight, away from any damp or wet walls, and I'm just a bit nervous to take them to London. But if you're interested in that sort of thing and you haven't seen my video, I can't remember what the title was. I think it was like, no one knows this about me, because no one did. And now everyone knows it about me, but yeah, go and watch it, because I literally get out my entire antique book collection and put it all over my bed and go through it with you guys. I need to get collecting again. These are the first additions to my collection that I've made in about five years, maybe. So yeah, very chuffed with those. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a hodgepodge of lots of different things, um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. It helps my videos to be discovered by new people and to grow. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. I'm gonna be replying to all the comments in the first hour as usual. It'd be lovely to catch up with you. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.